We're so excited to be here because we've got our friend from the YOCA at the table, Stephanie Ardell. Hi. 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 Thank you for having me. Well, so this is the time of the year where we all get excited. We say to ourselves, I'm not going to eat candy bars, Mountain Dew, and hot Cheetos for breakfast. It's just bad. And so um, we say, I'm going to get healthy and I'm going to go to the gym. So January gym is packed gym. I mean, January gym is wall-to-wall gym. We're all in there with our new outfits, our new Stanley water bottles. And then by February, boom. <laughs> oh man. So how do we how do we keep ourselves from being amped up and then falling off the Cheeto wagon? <laughs> February. Look, no judgment. Whatever you need to do for breakfast to get yourself going. Yeah. Um, getting amped up is great. If you can sustain that, that's great. The best way to do that is to have a community around you to do um, it with you. So mm -hmm, that's the mm -hmm. that's the best thing about the why is that you're gonna come in and you're not gonna have to do any of it by yourself. Uh, yes. We recently had someone come in for a tour and she said, I really don't want anyone talking to me. And I said, I think you've come to the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> we got her in and she's joined and she got into water aerobics and she's mm. made some really great strides. So Aww. it's really, you get you get amped up and if that's what gets you in the door, that's great, but you're going to stay because you find people who really care. Yeah, yeah that, is, that is really true. Um, yeah, we go to the Y. Um, we're a Y family. And it's one part that I think is really important, how can people beat the crowds? Is there like that perfect gym time <laughs> yeah. where you, can't, you don't have to feel intimidated? You know, it's such a good question. This time of year, it's going to be busy pretty much all the time, mm -hmm. um, morning, noon, and night. I would say, I would say just remove that kind of prescription from it. If it's a good time of day for you to go, that's the time you need to go. Mm. And you can find a pocket of the gym to work out in. You can find a machine or a class. Um, it's going to be busy in the morning. There's a crew of us early birds who love to be there. Mm -hmm. There's a noon crowd that it works well for them. And then, of course, the evening crowd is very busy. Mm -hmm. um, but if it works for you, make that your time. And then kind of work into whatever activities you can at that time. Because mm -hmm. gotcha. if you're going to say, oh, it's it's not as busy at 5.30 in the morning, but you are not a morning person. It's yeah. not going yeah. yeah. to be successful for yeah. you. That's not term. sustainable. You're not going to be able to sustain that. That's and right. So, so you want to kind of take a self-inventory, be very self-aware and then work from there. Yeah, That's perfect. Very good. And I mean, setting the goals is so important. Yes. Yet at the same time, yeah. how do you keep them achievable? Because I think, I, I'm in this right now, yes. I'm a member of the Y, yes, and I'm going you. in, and I'm trying yeah. I'm trying to do it in baby steps. Yes. So yeah. is that what you would recommend yes. Or, um, yes. as far as keeping people, you know, able to achieve their goals? Yes, yes. I think it's really great to have a big picture goal and to kind of think about what you want that long-term result to be, Yeah. but really breaking it down into those smaller achievable right. goals. Mm -hmm. right. We were talking about this earlier. We were. Yes. You know, it's really it's really about making something attainable. So if it's once a week, that is great. Put yeah. it on your calendar. Once a week is awesome. Mm -hmm. That gets you mm -hmm. out the door. That gets you meeting new people. Yeah. Gets you a little self-care time. Um, and then you kind of build from there. Maybe you can add to it. Maybe one week you miss. That's okay. Yeah. Um, it can get very overwhelming if you start putting up huge goals without those small steps to yeah. get there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. Well, Stephanie, what are some tricks to keeping us on track and holding ourselves accountable? So one of my favorite tricks is the calendar. So whether okay. it's a group fitness class, because those are scheduled and regular, and saying I'm going to attend that, you kind of have an appointment right. with that class. Or um, just finding that time that works best for you and putting it on your calendar. That's one of my favorite tricks. Um, accountability partners, whether that's someone else at the gym or someone else in your life, and you say, I'm going to go do this, and then they can check in on you. I mean, that's a very practical yeah. and, and old school way of doing it, but <laughs> accountability mm -hmm. is one of the best ways to stay on track. Yeah. yeah. You know, for that's me, uh, when, I was, when I was a reporter, Lord... But back in the day, um, the only time that I could go was to Silver Sneakers yes. group class. Yes. So it was like people over 55 and me, like 25 yes. in there. And I had a blast. Yes. So yes. It, was, yes. it was really cool. Um, if folks want to learn more about uh, the group classes yes. or anything like that, where can they go to get more info? Yes, so our website is ymcacky.org. And then we also have a very active Instagram and Facebook page where we keep real content. We Faces of our regular members, you might see someone you yeah. know. Um, events that are coming up, activities. We have a couple new classes starting this weekend just all of that current information you can definitely find on our social okay and come in come see us everyone at the y like you're saying the other members especially are probably yeah. our best advocates yeah but our staff we all want everyone to be successful and find something that keeps them engaged and active socially mentally and physically yeah thank you awesome. so much yeah, for, for being here and I'll shout out to all my senior y. citizen besties that i used to yeah. hang out with at the y okay